Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do today is we are going to practice solving a word problem involving scale factor. Now, this problem reads that rectangle A measures 20 centimeters by 5 centimeters. Rectangle B is a scale copy of rectangle A. Select all the measurement pairs that could be dimensions of rectangle B. All right, so here's how I'm going to approach this problem. So let's take the dimensions of rectangle A, which are 20 centimeters by 5 centimeters, and I'm going to express this as a ratio. Now it doesn't say which of the two is the length and which is the width, but I'm just going to call 20 the length and 5 the width. Now what we can say about rectangle A is that this rectangle's length is four times greater than its width, and that would be true for any object that is similar to rectangle A. So let's take the dimensions for choice A, which have a length of 6 and a width of 1.5. Now, because this rectangle's length is exactly four times bigger than its width, we would say that this rectangle is a scaled copy of rectangle A. So we should select choice A. All right, now let's go ahead and test option B, which has a length of 10 and a width of 2. Now we would say for this rectangle, its length is five times greater than its width. So we would say that this rectangle is not similar or proportional to rectangle A. So we should not select option B. For option C, we have a length of 11 and a width of four. And we would say that this rectangle's length is not four times bigger than its width because this would have to be 16 to be four times bigger than its width. So we can definitely not select option C. For option D, we have a length of 18 as compared to a width of four and a half. And 18 is exactly four and a half times bigger than, or I should say 18 is exactly four times bigger than four and a half. So, D is in fact proportional or similar to rectangle A. And for choice E, we have a length of 80 and a width of 20. And we would say that this rectangle's length is exactly four times greater than its width. So E is an option that we should also select because E is going to be similar to rectangle A. So we would say that option A right here is a scale copy of rectangle A. We would say that this option right here, option D is a scale copy and option E is a scale copy. And a way that we could check this is we could set each one of these equal to 20 over five and we can cross multiply just to verify that the values are proportional to each other. For example, we could take 20 over five, which is our original rectangle and we could set it equal to six over 1.5. And if I were to cross multiply, I would get 30 in this direction and 20 times one and a half is also 30, which verifies that these values are proportional to each other. So it is a scaled copy. Now, let's say I took one of the rectangles that is not a scaled copy, like 10 over two. If we were to cross multiply, notice in this direction we would get 50, and in this direction we would get 40. So we would say that these values are not proportional to each other. So this is not a scaled copy. And if we did the same thing with 11 over four, that would not be proportional, but it would be proportional with option D and option E. Hey, I just wanna say thanks for checking out my math video. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.